What's going on everybody? Chris Bauer here, Bauer Sports Media, coming at you with a video. Uh, we are pretty much, I mean, uh, the 2020 draft is in the books. Uh, I know we're, I guess this week, about a month removed from it. Um, but, you know, uh, as, as we get closer to the football season and everything, I mean, listen, mock drafts are just going to come out. There's going to be predictions. There's going to be stuff to talk about for the 2021 draft in terms of what we should look for in players next season in college football, who will be rookies in the NFL next year. So, uh, and, and the thing I want to talk about today, now I put a video out last week about Trevor Lawrence. And I said, these are the top five teams, in my opinion, tanking for Trevor Lawrence. Tank for Trevor Lawrence. No doubt he's the number one pick. Question is, is he really the number one pick? Let's find out. Now, I know what you're thinking. What are you getting at? Well, I'm getting at, could Justin Fields be the Joe Burrow in 2020? Meaning, you know, you look at last year with Joe Burrow. Right? People expected him to be good, not necessarily all time great, you know, the goat or anything. Right? Like, they had some pretty good expectations. Like, okay, he's going to compete for the West with Alabama. He's going to put some numbers up. He could even lead them there. But he's not going to win the Heisman or do this or that. Basically, everything he did last year was just unforeseen, I guess you could say, in college football last year. Uh, and so the question is, can Justin Fields be that guy to take the Heisman instead of Trevor Lawrence? Can he win the national title instead of Trevor Lawrence? Could we see someone else step up? Maybe, you know, uh, I like to think Mac Jones in terms I, I don't you know, really want to get into much of that because I don't know if Bryce Young's going to take over for Bama or not. I kind of hope he does. Um, but anyway, but let, let's focus on the two guys for next year's draft, really. Lawrence and Fields. Lawrence, heck of an arm. Pro-style quarterback. He's ready to go. Justin Fields started off A-OK, -okay, I guess. I, I mean, he was decent. Well, didn't get much of a chance at Georgia. Um, you know, I think, uh, yeah, I, I feel like he should have never gone to Georgia. You know, like, what did Feinbaum say about uh, Talia? He should have never gone to Bama. I don't think Justin Fields should have gone to Georgia. Uh, he was never going to win the job over Fromm because Kirby just is stubborn. Or was I? Oh, yeah. Uh, why Justin Fields uh, transferred to Ohio State didn't stay at Georgia. Um, basically, want to talk about right now. Uh, what? Okay. Why did Justin Fields not beat Jake Fromm out? Because Kirby Smart, um, who people think is a very elite head coach right now, which I'm not going to doubt that. I think he's done a good job recruiting, especially on defense. But because it, he he prefers the more experienced guy uh, over the more talented. That's what I think. I think that he didn't want to lose Jake Fromm, so he kept him as a starter. Now, Justin Fields... Um, put up with it, right? He put up with it. But at the end of the season, he said, okay, I, I'm I'm out of here, right? So, and we didn't know, we, we knew the physical tools of him. Much like what uh, I remember hearing Max Kellerman say about Trevor Lawrence after he blew out Alabama. I've, I heard him say, uh, all we knew were the physical tools and that he had a good arm. We just had to see it. Well, I saw it from Justin Fields last year. I knew he was great. I didn't know he was as great as he was last year. I, I thought he could throw. I didn't think he could throw the way that he did. 
I kind of what I saw from him when he was at Georgia was him running the football a little bit. I never really saw him throw. He never really got the opportunity. Uh, but anyway, the whole point of this video. Can Justin Fields sneak up and be the Joe Burrow this year in the sense, could he, like, put Trevor Lawrence as Tua, right? Not the injury part, but Tua was supposed to be the number one pick to go to the Bengals or the Dolphins or whoever until Joe Burrow comes along and wins the Heisman. Trevor Lawrence is not supposed to be the number one pick. Some people, again, I, I made a video already. Top five NFL teams tanking for Trevor Lawrence. You got the Panthers. You got the Jaguars, potentially. Um, I think some other teams were like the Raiders or whatever. But you got teams trying to tank for Trevor. No one's tanking for Justin Fields. Now, maybe some coaches have their eye on him. Like, yeah, I mean, I would not mind getting a guy like him. But, man, I really want Trevor Lawrence. Is Trevor Lawrence truly the number one pick? I think he is, but I also think Justin Fields, if he could improve his numbers a little bit, uh, be a little bit better in the pocket, you know, if he can improve, um, in which he plays in the Big Ten, he actually plays competition. No offense to the ACC, but let's just be real, right? But regardless of the competition, Trevor Lawrence is still great, right? If, I think, if you look at these two going into next year, if Justin Fields has better numbers, I don't care what you say about the ACC and the competition in the ACC that Clemson plays. I don't care. If Justin Fields has better numbers than Trevor Lawrence next year, and possibly even wins the Heisman, he could be the number one pick. Now, are teams going to try to tank for him? I think a couple teams are saying... You know, we're, we're not going to be bad enough to get the number one pick, you know. But we could probably get a guy like Justin Fields, right? Um, you know, I'm, I'm seeing stuff about um, potentially the Jaguars get uh, Trevor and maybe the a team like the Panthers gets Justin Fields, right? Um maybe the other way around but but there are you know certain teams that i'm sure have their eye on a guy like justin fields so could he be the number one pick it's not out of the realm of possibility but it's not going to be a scenario like we had where oh it's because you know Tua got hurt it's not going to be like oh it's because Trevor lawrence got hurt he probably got hurt like one time last year probably one time the year before and it wasn't like he was out. Like, ever since he won the starting job, he started every game he's played. And he's only lost one game. Right? Facts. Same thing for Justin Fields. Led the Buckeyes last year to a, I guess, overall 13-1. and one, And the one loss was to Clemson. It wasn't his fault. I mean, well, yeah. Granted, it was a bad throw, and, you know, uh, who was it? Turner on uh, Clemson picked him off. But outside of that, man, he put up great numbers last year. Let me pull these up for you real quick. All right, let me see here, and let's, let's compa compare Justin Fields and Trevor Lawrence for a second. Let's see. As far as size goes, they're pretty close. Justin Fields, 6'3", uh, 223 pounds. Um, uh, Trevor Lawrence, 6'6", 220 pounds. A couple inches underneath uh, Lawrence Fields is. Look at 2019. Eight interceptions for Lawrence, three for Fields. 36 touchdowns for Trevor Lawrence. 41 for Fields, 3,665 yards passing. Uh, maybe that's running too, I don't know. But uh, for Trevor Lawrence, 3,665 yards for Lawrence. And then 3,273 yards for Justin Fields. Um, 
So basically, Justin Fields won every category except for uh, yardage, right? For 2019. Now, what does that say? I mean, I guess the fact that there are some really good defenses in the Big Ten, you could say that. You could say there's no defense in the ACC, right? You could say whatever you want to, right? Uh, or I get maybe it would be the other way around. I don't know. But regardless, both of these guys were two of the best quarterbacks in college football last year, no doubt, right? Um, now, Trevor Lawrence was not in New York. Justin Fields was. Trevor Lawrence was the Heisman frontrunner in the preseason. Justin Fields wasn't really talked about. They talked about him, okay, starting and, you know, having a good year, but not the kind of year that he did. Trevor Lawrence played great, but when you look at it on paper or whatever, you look at the stats, um... You know, again, outside of yardage, touchdowns and interceptions, Justin Fields with 41 touchdowns and three interceptions, and again, Trevor Lawrence only with 36 and eight interceptions. Trevor Lawrence didn't put up quite the same numbers that Justin Fields did. But is Trevor Lawrence still, I mean, from a talent standpoint, let's forget about touchdowns and interceptions. Let's talk about arm talent. Trevor Lawrence has got that. Let's talk about running ability. Being mobile, Trevor Lawrence does not have that. Now, he can be mobile, but he's not like Justin Fields. You know what I mean? So, Justin Fields, I think, in the end, has the potential to win the Heisman next year. And he could possibly be the number one pick over Trevor Lawrence. Do I think it's going to happen? I'm not going to sit here and doubt that, but I think that, I mean, it's so hard to pass up on a guy like Trevor Lawrence. It's also a hard thing to pass up on, you know, Justin Fields at at the same time. Um, But I think in the end, uh, Trevor Lawrence, everyone's going to have their eye on him. Everyone's going to be trying to tank for him. Um, So to answer the question... Can Justin Fields be the number one pick? He can be. I'm not going to sit here and say he will be. I'm not going to sit here and say I think he will be or think he won't be. I don't know. But there is a possibility. So, this whole tanking for Trevor thing is real. This whole him being a for sure, without a doubt, no questions asked lock. (sighs) Let, let's hold, let's slow that down a little bit. Again, Clemson fans, don't get mad, all right? Trevor Lawrence could easily, or I, I say easily, but let's say let's say he's the number two quarterback and Justin Fields does go ahead, right? He could still go out there and be better in the NFL than Fields is, right? Just like Tua this year or whenever he plays could go out and be better than Joe Burrow, right? So... You know, again, Justin Fields could be the number one pick and be picked first overall next year. Will it happen? We will find out in April. But for now, I think there is a chance that uh, Justin Fields could overtake the number one spot, could win the Heisman, you know, and everything over Trevor Lawrence. My pick, Trevor Lawrence, I think in the end it's him. And he pulls it off, you know. So, anyway. I figured I'd make a video. Talk some 2021 NFL draft and all that stuff. Uh, But, anyway. Fans of football. NFL gurus or anybody out there. Let me know what you think. Could Trevor Lawrence be the second quarterback? Could Justin Fields find a way to go number one overall next year and be the first player taken? And have a Joe Burrow-like story in college football. Let me know. And I say Joe Burrow-like. I mean, at first, no one knew who he was. People know who uh, Justin Fields is. And and again, I mean, why did he not start at Georgia? I don't know. But but anyway, so I think there is a possibility. I'm not going to count on it. But 
anything could happen. So we'll just have to wait and see what happens when the season kicks off later this year. So anyway, that's it for this video. Let me know what you think. Uh, Trevor Lawrence, the clear-cut number one pick, or can Justin Fields sneak up and surprise some people? Su surprise some people. Uh, let me know. Anyway, uh, that's it for this video. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see y'all next time. Till then, Battle Sports Media. Check it out. Y'all have a good one.